Hey, what is it going YouTube? It is your boy D Dizzle Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today I got a really good treat for you guys. It's going to be a three-part video. This is going to be the first video about how to make a character's body. Second video is going to be adding clothing. Then the third video is a compilation of everything together for the final product. But let's jump right into it. So this video in particular is mainly just working on the skeleton. So I'm going to go nice and slow for you guys so you guys can figure it out. So the very first thing you want to figure out is your character's body posture. You want to figure out how you want your character to be shaped and what you want your character to be doing. What is the action that your character is doing? For example, my character is going to be kind of like in a defensive position, holding a weird circular blade in her left hand, kind of like a sai, if you will, but I guess more Egyptian style. And um, it is really good to just figure out what skeletal functions of your character before you start really getting into it. And I say this in every single one of my videos. You really want to play with the bare bones, the skeletal forms, the shapes. I always say this, upside down triangles, circles, eggs, those are your basic functions of your character. It is what shapes your character and everything about it. Now I am drawing this in real time and as you see here I have just made her upper portion of her body. The top of the triangle is going to be where her shoulders are going to be at. So the upper torso is always going to be a triangle. And then what I always do is I always add circles to the sides of the triangle to show where the shoulders is to add curvature to the shoulders because it really does help out a lot. These basic shapes will always make you perform better if you're just going to be drawing a character from scratch or if you just need help and just really figure out where you want to be placed at. And as you see here how I make my little circles there's always a type of pattern and then after that I start doing like the weird looking squished egg or the potato if you will just to make the arms and it's the exact same function when you make the head and when you make your legs it just you gotta make it a little bit more thicker depending on how thick you want your character to be. This character is going to be kind of just like a basic style character I'm making and as you see here it does look a little funky as I'm drawing on the character but as you go and get farther into your drawing what you want to do next is as I always say is clean up and just take your time with it because everything always comes together at the end if you just take your time and not rush through it and these shapes really do help out as you see here I'm now working on her right arm and if you look closely part of her torso is going to be covering up her right arm so do not fret too hard when you're drawing your character now the next step is always the more challenging step because it depends on how you want the character legs to be positioned it is going to be your crotch area the base if your character is just standing up regularly and it's a female you want it to be kind of a bigger circle if it's more of a man character then it can be more of a squarish circle and um if you're just standing up then it could be more widened but if you're sitting down crouched down then you can squeeze it and make it more skinny to kind of like how the arms are and depending which way you made your crotch you can now start working on your legs and as I said earlier with the legs they are pretty much thick the arms but they're just bigger and thicker pretty much kind of like the triangles again but more circular at the end just the egg that's extended out like if you drew an egg and then you stretched it out this is what you would get and you just do this for the legs usually the legs for women is always going to be more thicker more rounded off if I was drawing a man it would be a bit more blockier at the end because men when it comes to drawing men we're more blocky versus women who are very curvy and as you see here I'm just overlapping the lines just to show how the legs function and you can just clearly see how I use these shapes to my advantage when making my character and it does look like a bit of a jambled mess right now but when you get more further into it you kind of just want to just clean it up a little bit and as you see what I just did right there for her hips I do two little circles as little placements to show where I, I got to connect the body lines so you see how I'm just connecting the lines from the circle her crotch area to her shoulder um, area and then I can start cleaning it up and it'll show better once I start cleaning it up and you can see indefinitely how things function when it comes to drawing your bare bone skeletal forms because now everything is looking good it's looking connected just for the base skeleton and again just make sure you clean up the mess uh, don't delete everything things that you think you need just uh, clean up parts that might be overlapping with each other uh, earlier details that you don't need no more for example I deleted most of the big circle in her crotch and I can come back and touch that up later and just 
see how I'm doing it. I'm just cleaning things up, parts that intersect that don't need to intersect, and just making it look good. Things that cover up other parts of the body can stay. Uh, delete some of the bare bones, skeletal forms, and then I can start rounding off the body a little better here and there. Um, I can start adding bodily features, for example, like her chest, uh, give her a moderate sized breasts and uh, her hands and things like that. And when it comes to making features like her breasts, make sure you add sag. Uh, doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, this girl is definitely going to be definitely perky. So definitely show where the sag line starts. If you see right here, this is pretty much where the sag line is going to be. Do not forget about that. And when it comes to the hands, um, I've always struggled with making hands. And when we get to the hands, you're going to see that pretty much I usually what I do now is I always draw the hands in a like a blocky blockish form kind of like Legos if you will I don't know that this looks like squares rectangles and things like that that's what I always do for the hands now and then I round them off later uh, for example I decided to make her hands kind of pointy kind of like claws but now let's move on to the head so the neck and the shoulders they intersect with each other pretty much you just want to just round them off just uh i'm not sure what to describe this shape uh when you're drawing a neck it's you know kind of like a rounded tube if you will and it's very simple and very easy to draw the neck and depending how thick you want the neck be you can make it very thick or very thin depending on the type of character if you're making it like a chibi character very thin neck and then um for the head head's always going to be the most basicest thing in the world it's just an egg half an egg um super simple super easy uh just draw an egg and then you can round it off to what you like and since this character is kind of just looking right at you in this image it is very streamlined and very easy for you to make just a basic head uh basic egg head and uh don't fret um with this one i'm gonna leave her head kind of chopped off while i draw it her features it's gonna be real quick and fast and you pretty much just gotta have fun with it. Don't forget to use your guidelines for your eyes and your mouth and things like that. It's what I always do with every single image I draw. And as you see here, I'm just drawing quick basic eyes. I'm not gonna do too crazy things. I'm gonna give her kind of a surprise expression with her mouth. And that's pretty much it for the skeleton of this character. Super easy character, very basic. It looks a little funky right now, but that's because I don't have any of the extra details drawn in, but that's gonna be for the next video. So if you guys stay tuned and wanna watch this three-part video, uh, just stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe, and all that happy stuff, because the next video is gonna be adding more detail to the character, such as clothing, her weapon, and uh, her hair, and things like that, and gonna give her some shoes, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that next video. Make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all that bullshit. But uh, yeah, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Hopefully it helped some of you guys out with my teachings. But your boy, out.